Hey YouTube, what is going on? The Printer Guy here, and today I'm going to show you how to connect an Epson printer to a Windows PC. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. All right, so we're going to go right into the settings and we're going to click on printer setup because in the printer setup, you're going to have this option PC connection via USB. You're going to enable this. Not all Epson printers will have this option, but just check to see if it's there. Now, this is our A to B cable. If you don't already have an A to B cable, I'm going to link one down in the description below. It'd be great for you to have one. Of course, you're going to need it if you're going to be connecting this way. So you're connecting the standard USB part of the cable to the computer to the USB port, of course, on the computer. And then the other end of the A to B cable is the end that connects to the printer itself. You do have this A to B input on most Epson printers. If you have it, then of course you can do this, but if you don't, then unfortunately you won't be able to do this connection. But fortunate for you, most Epson printers will have this input. So once everything is connected between the printer and the computer, everything else is going to be handled on the computer as far as getting everything connected and downloading the driver for this specific printer that you have. So when you get into the settings of your PC, this is of course using a Windows PC, you're going to go to your Bluetooth and devices. Once you're in Bluetooth and devices, you're going to go to printers and scanners. And once you get to printers and scanners, you're then going to be able to see the printer that you're trying to connect. So as long as you see that you're in good shape so far, you've got everything connected. Now you're going to have to decide if you're going to use the CD to connect the driver or you can just type into Google driver for whatever specific Epson printer you have. Most likely you'll be able to get to the Epson website where you will be able to select which version of the operating system you have windows 11 all the way down to 2003 windows which is very old you probably should not be running that but you're going to download that and then you're going to save this file that it's prompting you to save and as long as it's the epson website don't worry about any spam or malware or anything like that you should be good you're going to click on the file that you just downloaded click ok and this is where the download begins. It's gonna take quite some time. It probably will take about an hour to an hour and a half to download everything. I'm gonna skip past and forward past some of this stuff quickly so that we don't waste any time. So once we get past all of this setup, you should be able to print directly from your PC to your computer when it's connected with the A to B cable. I hope you will consider subscribing to this channel. Everything printer related is what you're going to find here. Printer unboxings, printer repairs, and then tutorials like this showing you how to actually use your printer in different ways. So I hope that this video ends up being really helpful to you. Comment below if it's helpful. That shows me and YouTube that this video is the right type of content that I'm putting out and I'll be able to put out more content like this. All right, so we're going to click yes on this. You're going to click next. Just go through all the prompts, read through everything. You're going to select your printer on this screen here. Then you're going to click next. And once you get through all these prompts, like I said, you will be able to actually print. Now you want to make sure that you're able to connect to Wi-Fi. That's going to be a really important part of this. You still do want to be connected to Wi-Fi. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but it's a part of this setup process. Once we're done with everything, it's going to ask you to print a test page. This will make sure that you are in fact connected to the printer. We are now printing the test page and this is the final part of this process. I really hope this helped you connect your Windows PC to your Epson printer. Uh, I'm also going to be doing another print here directly from my computer outside of the test print. This is actually just printing off a page from uh, the website that I was using. But that's really all there is to it. That's really all I have for today. I thank you so much for watching and until next time.